So Moses, he used his stick to separate the water. As I told you in the bus, each part of water Wait. was like a big mountain. So they, the Moses separated the water and they crossed up to here. They were running, ran out of water, very afraid from the Pharaoh. So after they came here to the side and they saw that the army already sunk under the water, they started to relax, but they were actually very thirsty. So they tried to make a well, but for sure, it's not even it will be very salty or bitter or pa'it or mara. Pa'it. That's mara. why Moses used his leg to make this water <laughs> fresh. Water. So the name in Hebrew, mara. mara. In English, for sure, the springs of Moses. We have here 12 yeah. springs. Oh, this is one of it. Okay. This is just one of it. The 12 is still here springs. in this area, but are quite far. Yeah. So each tribe will use one well of water. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay. So if you'd like to, can you see all these um, cargo ships? Yeah. They are waiting to cross the Suez Canal. Okay. By the way, the Suez Canal is functioning one direction only. Oh. So they open it from the Mediterranean Sea, let's say for six hours, they cross up to here. Okay. Then they close it from there and they open from here. Okay. And by the way, as well, this is considered the first source of the Egyptian income. Because all, this, all those cargo ships, they pay fees or taxes for the Egyptian government. And as well, this is considered a very important source for the hard currency, because they pay in dollars. Well. So all these ships waiting to cross the Suez Canal. So if you'd like to take photos, approach a little bit, to take photos there or here, feel free. I'm going to give you like 10 minutes, free time. Then our meeting point will be in the bus. We have here some little lemons. They sell some stuff to let you buy up to you. The Red Sea. Behold!